Scorched is a program about hope. It's about um, action to enable young people in the New England region the opportunity to make a real world impact and learn about bushfire resilience and also climate resilience and to come up with unique innovations to target key challenges in the region. So my involvement in, in the Scorched Earth project has really been to give an RFS volunteers perspective um, of bushfires and, and that particular season, but then also very much about looking forward. But there's a lot that we can do to better protect our communities and prepare. It is such an uh, amazing experience to see these people come in and say, I can't do this, I don't even know what the problem statement is. And they're able to figure out what it is that they can do to make a difference. And they were looking at climate variability, specifically drought, and they pulled it together. They came up with an idea that would not only help the farmers, but it would help all the ag students. They want to create a job for themselves. They want to create a unique job. Culture burning is a huge part of, of Indigenous life. You know what I mean? That's always been a massive part of it. Music, dance, fire, art, you know, all those little bits and pieces, they're all just part of, of the big picture. And music's the perfect tool to pass on that message. You know what I mean, especially in this day and age. One of the ways that the Scorch Project brought the young people and the older people together was through the Youth Innovation Challenge. And the Youth Innovation Challenge was built on a number of workshops that fed into identification of those challenges. And it just, I thought that was a really good gathering of people with really good outcomes. It's their future, so it's really important that they have a voice at the table. To have an idea that um, our group created to actually make something real or um, tangible is, I feel, very, um, it being very rewarding and a, I guess, an achievement. We won the People's Choice Award, which we were all very happy with. We got a jar of money and it was, you know, we weren't expecting it and we were really happy. But then we also found out that we were given the $1,000 grant. We are planning on creating a seminar aimed at educating people from around the Armadale area, particularly from our school, about the, the benefits of renewable energy and what we can do to help our environment. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, to put it in a, a visual perspective, if you've got a seed, you know, what does it need to grow? You can't just have a seed sitting there on a, on a bit of concrete. Nothing's going to happen. Um, you know, so fertiliser and water and soil are all the sort of different components that you need to be able to get an idea off the ground. And I think the, the SRI and this EPIC initiative has been able to sort of plant that seed. And now we've got the resource that we need to make our idea grow.